Hello guys, it is me again. <laughs> this video would have came out earlier today, but I had some monitor trouble again. I had to re uh, take the monitor back and get a new one because the one I bought didn't look w the way I wanted it to. This one looks really good, looks fantastic, I love it, but you guys can't really see it, but I can. It looks really nice. But anyway, back to the topic of vehicles. Uh, vehicles came out today, uh, only the tanks and the jets did. The bikes should be coming soon, some point. Um, if you've seen my videos, like the one I posted a few days ago about the weapons, you see the ones that are available on the test server, you know, with a few tanks and uh, no jets were on there, but did have some uh, grav bikes, the, uh, the bikes they had. And, well, I kind of just wanted to uh, just talk about what what I think that these vehicles really should have been. Well, first, let's talk about how you get them. Sea store, correct? Uh, the more money you pay for, the uh, the better the vehicle you get as far as those the stats and how many weapon slots it actually has. So the more expensive the vehicle, the more utility stuff it has, the more vehicle stuff, the more, I'm sorry, the more mod weapon stuff. And then you have this drifter guy, which has a whole different set of other vehicles. And these have different kind of tanks and a jet. Now, I wouldn't really have a problem with this, because it's cool that you can get vehicles through a uh, drifter salvage, I guess. You know, actually, I don't really think that's a good idea, though, because drifter salvage... I mean, you get drifter salvage by doing a few quests here and there, like a few event quests, but as far as, like, getting it on a daily basis, you, the only way to get drifter salvage is through a grab bag, right? Because that's part of the, uh, the awesome stuff you get out of the bag, is you get some salvage, you get, like, two or three. Notice that these are like 200 or 70. You need to buy a lot of grab bags to even get this much salvage. And the grab bags are like a buck a piece, I think. I'm not sure. I, I couldn't find any on the sea store. I probably don't know where I'm looking. But to me, the salvage isn't exactly the best idea. Recognition, maybe? Question night. I'm surprised they didn't put anything in question night. But speaking of question night, if you look at the vehicle weapons, look how much these are. 100,000 and 80,000 question knife for a Mark 1. Not Mark 9, not Mark 5, but a Mark 1. It's like a rank 1 mod. It's really expensive. It's considering you need 5 of these to make, you know, Mark 2, and then 5 of Mark 2's to make a Mark 3, this is going to be very expensive. At least to me it is. So, this also I'm not quite agreeing with. I think the Mark 1 should be a little cheaper. Maybe like 10,000, 20,000. But, I'm surprised they didn't put any actual vehicles in the Question Night store, because, you know, that should make sense. Uh, the biggest gripe I have... Now, don't, don't get me wrong, I am excited that they actually had vehicles, because some people wanted... Not everybody, but a lot of people did want vehicles, and it's so cool that they actually implemented them. But, I don't quite like the way they did it. Because Champions Online is a superhero game. The way it's made, you can make any kind of hero you want. There's a great customization feature in this game, and that's what really makes the game different from any other game I've ever played. The problem is, there's no customization in these at all. Yeah, you can customize the weapons, but nothing physical is customi customizable. Like this this jet right here, this white one. Well, that's great. I mean, I can buy a white jet, or, you know, I can buy, you know, like a black one. And they look good. The models look good. They did a really good job on making the models, even though I'm not really a fan of this kind of tank. It looks good. I mean, it's a good-looking tank for what it is. But the problem is that, let's say I have a a brown character. Let's just, I don't know why, but let's say I have a brown character. There's no brown vehicles other than a grav bike. There is a brown bike. And let's just say it's under the uh, Drifter Salvage. Well, the only way I could get that bike is through Salvage. Whereas, like, this Tiger Shark, it's, uh, like, white and red stripes, kind of bluish white, and if you look at it, it's only a, uh, it's, it's real expensive, it's a thousand eight hundred Z store points, as opposed to another tank, they don't have one that looks like this exactly, but I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is that if you want like the best vehicle, you're stuck with the way it looks, whereas if you want a particular look, you just have to be satisfied with how many weapon slots, how many uh, defense slots or whatever it gives you, which to me isn't exactly the best way to implement it. What I think they should have done, this is what I think they should have done, was you sell chassis, right? And you can see you have these kind of jets. You have jets, and you have these kind of tanks. That's 
and you have this kind of tank and you have some bikes coming soon that's fantastic they should have those chassis right you get the chassis and it should just be blank now you should be able to go to a mechanic which there is one actually in the game it's called West Side Choppers it's actually here you should be able to go there and just colorize the vehicle to your liking and what they should sell on the C store as well as the vehicle chassis is like decals or like skins similar similar to tights where you have different tight patterns and you can colorize those patterns any way you want that's what they should do here like if you look at um, there's not a lot of um, variances though for me to actually give a good description but if you look at my other video there is a bike called the uh, the Black Widow it's black it has spider webs and has like a little spider legs in the front that's cool and all, but what if I don't want that to be black and red? What if, what if I want it to be, you know, black and blue, you know, orange and white? There's no way to colorize that. And that each pattern is stuck to a particular model because each jet looks different. It's not like the same jet, but different colors. Each color has its own model. Each model has its own color. It, it's all stuck within one thing. I don't really think that's such a great idea. Because it is like this. If I want this tank, I have to be stuck with it being orange, red, and black. I can't have one a different color or anything. Unless it's like a different model. I don't really like that way of making things. So over here is the mechanics. Now, I would love to have these bikes. I mean, these bikes look really cool. They put so much detail into these bikes. They look amazing. Whoever did this did a fantastic job. See, you know, the uh, the cars, look, I mean, they, they look good too for what they were, but these bikes look so much better. They're so much more high res, they're shiny. Now, what you could have is a mechanic, you know, NPC go to, like, hey, what's up, man? I want to change my bike or whatever. And then, just like the tailor, it opens up, you know, this menu. You have your vehicle, the chassis, and you get to pick, I guess, what parts. Now, the parts would have been. That would have cost a lot more time, a lot more money. Some cryptic just doesn't really have. So I can understand them just having a set model, like not like piecing together different pieces together to make a, a collection of parts to represent a jet or anything, but I can understand them just wanting to have just a simple model, which is fine. If you have a simple model, you can buy this model of jet or that model of jet, but you should also be able to buy patterns that will f or skins that would fit on all the jets custom made for each jet and then you come here and you colorize your vehicle like with my character Betty I mean she's wearing black but usually she wears like blue baby blue stuff like that there's not one blue vehicle anywhere I mean honestly I would just like to have this bike right here if I can just sit on this bike make it blue and just drive away that'd be fantastic if they don't have to fly for me but it's fine but I guess if I'm making sense, let me know. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's... I think that's everything I wanted to say about it. I mean, I really think... I mean, I'm glad they did this, but I'm, I really think they should have totally gone with a different route. And since they're like, you know, $16, $18 in American money, or $17, $15, $12 for a jet that I cannot customize the appearance on, I'm stuck with what it gives me as far as how many slots it has for weapons and upgrades because if let, let's say I wanted this black jet like I've already previously said I'm stuck with what this black jet has which is two weapon slots and two defense slots if I go to a higher level jet like this one I get three weapon slots and you know attack and defense speeds all different you you can increase these stats by the uh, defense and support slots it, this one has one defense and one support this one has just two defense. I mean, it's all over the place. The way they have these stats and everything put together. I don't know. I, I, I'm I, sure I made sense. And I don't know exactly how everybody else feels. But to me, I think I've explained what I wanted more than enough times. I don't think it's going to happen. But I'm hoping maybe down the line they'll do some changing to the system. Uh, it was a good idea... And I really enjoy that they took the time and effort to make this. They did a good job on what I guess they were trying to do, which was to make prefab, pre-made vehicles 
that hopefully would fit with what you have. But that's another point, though, is this... I'm usually not one to try to feel special all the time, but this is Champions Online where you can make your own hero. You can't really feel unique when like 12 other people are driving the same bike you're driving or have the same uh, same tank you have. It really doesn't make you feel unique. doesn't feel like you're really driving anything uniquely customly made for your character. It just feels like your character just bought something out of like the store, which exactly is what you did, pretty much. But it... I don't know. I, I just don't like it, I guess I should say. I like the idea. I liked that they took the time and effort to make something for us. I mean, something is better than nothing in a way, but I really wish that they would change the method on the way these were implemented. But like I've said, this bike, oh, this bike looks amazingly awesome. I would love to have this bike. Just let me just sit on it and drive away, and I'd be totally happy. They only had to fight for me. And that's another thing. They also uh, nerfed the uh, Hawkwing jets. They made them slower, they made them do less damage. Which is kind of a bummer for those who bought them ahead of time. But they were prototypes. But I guess you bought the prototype, not the actual finished product. So they are different in a way. But anyway, thanks for watching, I guess. I'm not going to buy any vehicles just because... I'm not going to pay you $12 for something that I don't really want. Because they don't have anything for any of my characters. So anyway... I, uh, th like I said, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, ideas for the vehicle system, let me know. You can post in the comment section wh what you want vehicles to be, what kind of vehicles you want in the future, how you want them to fix the problem, or if you like the vehicles. You know, if you like the way it's done, then that's cool. You can tell me about it. Um, I'm not expecting this video to get like billions of views or anything, but I'm hoping somebody might watch it. There's tons of feedback on the forums about this stuff, but Cryptic's not the best at directly directly acknowledging feedback. I mean, they do read the forums, but they don't quite post on every single topic that they've read or that they're considering on changing. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. And like I said, I have videos of the test server vehicles, but check those out if you're interested in what some of them look like and how they like turn around and stuff. And also have a, vi uh, a video on weapons. There's 20 weapons in the game for the vehicles. You can check those out. And uh, I'll see you next time.